What is the greatest plot twist in the history of movies? What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going through my top 10 favorite movie plot twists of all time. Now before I get any further in this video, I wanna let you guys know how this is gonna work. It's impossible to talk about a plot twist without spoilers. So when I go through this list, I will say, you know, number 10, insert movie here. I will then have a timestamp that shows up on screen as well as linked in the description of this video that will take you to the next movie so that if you haven't seen a movie and you want to avoid spoilers for it, you can skip ahead throughout this video and still see what movies I select without being spoiled for what the plot reveals are. This is a video I've put off for a while just because it's been tricky thinking about how to go about this in the most respectful way without revealing some really cool twists for you guys. So. If you're not comfortable watching this video because you don't want to risk spoilers at all, I totally get you, but still consider leaving a like. Comment down below your favorite movie plot twists of all time and subscribe into that notification bell to help reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel. It would mean a lot. Again, every movie I'm about to talk about, I will dive into spoilers for, but there will be a timestamp where you can skip ahead to the next movie on the list if you don't want to be spoiled for the one that I'm talking about at that current time. All right, so coming in at number 10 for me, we have a Best Picture winner, and it's not the only Best Picture on this list, Parasite. Now, this movie is not one that when you get to the end, you're like, oh, what? That's what happened the whole time? It's more so the movie is one thing for about the first half and then takes a drastic shift that I really didn't see coming. I saw Parasite on the big screen and going into the movie, I heard, oh, there's something crazy that happens. It, like, I was like, what? Is it a horror movie? Does it become some sort of, what is this movie? I literally knew nothing about it. And I don't think anyone could really predict the twist that ends up happening in this movie. As you know, in Parasite, this family sort of infiltrates this other family and the whole family is working for them. But there's a twist in the middle of this movie that there is someone living in the basement of this house. And my mind was blown. There's a moment where some of the main characters are walking downstairs and they come to realize that someone's literally been living there the entire time. It's bone chilling stuff. The movie takes a complete turn after this twist, and of course by the end of the film we realize that the father of the family that infiltrates the rich family ends up having to live in the basement just like the man who was living there prior to hide away. It's haunting in a way, and there's a lot to take out of this film, but Parasite is masterful, obviously at one best picture. It's not a very rewatchable movie to me just because it has got some pretty dark subject material in it, but this twist, I just remember the theater being like, no way, this is like two movies in one in a good way. It takes a drastic turn, and I really did not see that coming at all. Number nine on my list is Seven. This is one of the more iconic plot twists of all time, and unfortunately for me, I was spoiled for this plot twist before I even saw the movie. That's the case with a few others on this list because for some reason growing up, I got the bright idea to watch the Watch Mojo Top 10 Best Plot Twist video that legitimately spoils every single thing. And I was like, oh, I don't care. I'll never watch these movies or it'll be fine. It was a disservice to myself. I ruined a lot of iconic endings for me, but I still dug seven when I ended up watching it. Even though I'd already seen the ending clip, the twist is still great and it's worth being on this list because of how iconic it is. What's in the box? Obviously, John Doe, played by Kevin Spacey, ends up being the killer behind everything and he has Gwyneth Paltrow's character's head in a box. As a result of this, Brad Pitt finishes out the seven deadly sins killings as he kills John Doe in a fit of wrath. It's dark as hell, but it's like hauntingly poetic at the same time. And this twist ending is referenced in so many different pieces of pop culture. It is iconic for a reason and it's so well done. I can only imagine if I had seen this movie without knowing what the reveal was, would I have been able to put the pieces together along the way? My girlfriend actually was able to. I'll link the video up above. My girlfriend watched Seven for the first time. She guessed it pretty early on. She was like, Gwyneth Paltrow is gonna die. And I was like, damn. Number eight on my list is The Empire Strikes Back. The big plot twist here obviously being that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. This is something that I feel like I've known since I was born. Um, like, it's not like I remember watching it the first time and being like, no way, like, I just feel like I've known this forever. It's because I watched the Star Wars movies at such a young age. They've been in my brain for what seems like since I was born. That being said, no one could have guessed this twist. It is one of the most iconic in cinema and it had to be on this list. I adore Star Wars. The original trilogy, like I've said many times on the channel, is my favorite trilogy of all time. And when I think of this twist, I because it's been in my brain for so long, I try and put myself in the shoes of someone who saw this movie in theaters in 1980 with no idea of what they are about to watch. And when that line delivery happens, no. I am your father. I can only imagine the reaction I would have had in the theater then. That's why this is on this list because obviously I love Star Wars and because of the iconic nature of this twist, but also I can only imagine how cool it would have been at the time to experience that and how much more mind blowing it would have been then. Regardless, it is one of the best twists ever and one that is referenced in countless pieces of media. Number seven on my list might be the most iconic plot twist of all time. We've got the sixth 
since. This is the best M. Night Shyamalan movie and the one that really put him on the map. And it's also a movie that is obvious in retrospect. The big twist here is that Bruce Willis's character is dead the entire movie, and Haley Joel Osment's character, you know, he has the line, I see dead people. Well, him seeing Bruce Willis could have given that away. Obviously, Haley Joel Osment sees living people as well, but the fact that he sees dead people, Bruce Willis is dead. Now, when I watched this movie for the first time, I knew all about the I see dead people line, but I don't think I fully knew the twist. However, I knew there was a twist. And so I was looking out for it constantly and I was like, he's not talking to his wife at this diner. And it kind of was like a little obvious. I think it's because I had this preconceived notion that, oh, there's a big twist in this movie. So I was trying to outsmart it along the way. If I had just watched this movie without any knowledge of there being a twist, I think that there would have been a bigger visceral reaction from me. That being said, it is a great twist. The whole entire movie, Bruce Willis' character is dead. He gets shot in the opening. From that point on, he's dead. Pretty wild stuff. M. Night Shyamalan always loves to have movie twists, and this is his most iconic one. I don't think he'll ever top it. Number six on my list is another one of those iconic twist endings, and it is from David Fincher yet again on this list. We've got Fight Club. Uh, this is one that I was spoiled for, unfortunately, and I know that's, that's heartbreaking stuff because this is one of the better twists in movies, but when it comes down to it, I watched that damn Watch Mojo video with the top 10 plot twist, and this was on there, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. But I feel like I would have been spoiled anyway. This is just one that, you know, if you grow up going to school, someone watched this movie and probably spoiled it at some point. And the big reveal here, obviously, is that the narrator is Tyler Durden. They're the same person. So Edward Norton and Brad Pitt's characters are the same person. And when you watch the movie the first time, there's actually little hints that something is off because there'll be little flashes of Brad Pitt's character in the background. And then when you watch it back, it's interesting because there's really no way that it could have ever been two separate characters. And so when the big twist happens, it's like, damn, this is wild, but it's also not like it's so far out of left field. There are hints throughout the movie that lead to its reveal. The end of this movie is trippy though, when Edward Norton shoots himself and like kills the Brad Pitt version, and then it's just him and we get the iconic, you met me at a very strange time in my life, as the Pixies song, Where's My Mind plays. Like it's a very disturbing ending in a way, but the movie is damn good and that twist is iconic as hell. Bringing us into the top five, we've got Martin Scorsese's The Departed. I think I knew that someone died at the end of this movie, but I didn't know exactly who, so when I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is madness. Because at the end of this movie, spoilers of course, multiple people end up dying, and it's very shocking and abrupt. Like Matt Damon's character gets captured by Leo's character, and they're going down an elevator, and right when the elevator door opens, Leo gets his head blown off. And they foreshadow this early on in the movie, and they're talking about the different types of bullets, and that's the same one that's used on Leo. Jack Nicholson obviously ends up dying. The most shocking moment by far is Leo's character getting his head blown off, but then we come full circle at the end. It seems like Matt Damon is going to get off scot-free, and Wahlberg comes in and shoots him. So it's this big round robin of people getting killed, essentially. And I'll never forget how shocked I really was when Leo's character actually gets shot dead like that, and he's just, like, gone. The main character of the movie, dead. Truly one of the more shocking twists I've seen in a movie, and leave it to Scorsese to leave my jaw on the floor like that. At number four on my list, I had to get Christopher Nolan on here. We've got The Prestige. This is a movie that is built like a magic trick. Each act sort of a new part of the magic trick. And it all comes full circle in this final act with some crazy reveals. First and foremost, Christian Bale's character has a twin brother, but also Hugh Jackman's character is cloning himself each time he does the tank trick, he's killing a version of himself, essentially. Both of those twists were so shocking to me, and leave it to Christopher Nolan to truly pull this off in a way that just had me shook. It's enough that we had the twin brother reveal, but then the fact that the cloning reveal at the end, like, both things are mad. I think The Prestige is one of Christopher Nolan's most slept on movies. A lot of people do appreciate it, but it's actually, like, in my top two or three. And just talking about it right now inspires me to want to go rewatch it, because the end of this movie, genuinely shocking. And I feel like this is one of those movies that a lot of people don't know has a big twist. So when people go in to watch it, they just don't expect it, and it's like, whoa shock value for sure at the end. Number three on my list is a romantic comedy, Crazy Stupid Love. This is not your average, oh, he's the killer twist. It's more so just a reveal that every character is a lot more connected than we thought, and it comes together at this backyard party, essentially, and I was so shocked when it first happened. So the setup of this movie is that Ryan Gosling's character is trying to get Steve Carell's character to have some mojo and some swag, essentially, because he's separated with his wife now, and he just doesn't have any confidence, really. So Ryan Gosling's character is sort of reshaping him into someone who can go out into society and talk to women. <laughs> well, all the while, Emma Stone's character is in the film, and Ryan Gosling starts to 
to sort of fall for her. And then it's revealed at this party that Emma Stone is actually Steve Carell's daughter. And Ryan Gosling is like, what? So he's been helping his girlfriend's dad this whole entire time. And it was just such a crazy out of left field reveal for me that I was genuinely shocked. The way that whole scene goes down really is impressive and that elevates that movie to another level for me. It's my favorite rom-com at the moment and I truly believe that this whole reveal scene is a big reason as to why. It's a movie I had no idea would have a reveal like this and so when it happened I shot up out of my chair I was like this movie is elite. So it had to be high on this list because of the visceral reaction that I had to it. My runner-up is one of the most iconic movie twists of all time, Psycho, the 1960 film by Alfred Hitchcock. I luckily enough skipped through the Psycho portion of that Watch Mojo video. I was like, I don't care about this. So I scrolled ahead, didn't see any spoilers for Psycho. I knew there was some sort of twist, but I genuinely was unsure of what it was. And so when the final reveal happens that Norman Bates is his mother, I was shocked. This is easily a top 10 all-time movie twist, so it had to be pretty high for me. Again, I wasn't spoiled, so I was so stunned when it happened. I imagine moviegoers who went and saw this in 1960 felt the same way, and people who don't know the twist for this movie and watch it now likely still feel the same way. It's very hard to predict. You think Norman Bates' mother is alive and they're saving her big reveal for the end of the movie, but it turns out he's dressed up as her, and it is an extremely disturbing finale to this movie where he acts as her, and it's very, very deranged, to say the least. Brilliant ending from Hitchcock though. But taking the top spot for me, it's Saw. And if you guys haven't seen this movie, turn this video off. I don't want you to even risk being spoiled for this. Saw has a plot twist at the end that left me so speechless. I was watching it in this room and I sat up and my girlfriend was in the room. I just stared, I was like, no way. It left me just so stunned to my core in the best possible way. And I'm gonna give you one fi final spoiler warning because I really don't even wanna say what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. If you haven't seen Saw, click away and go to that timestamp that I put up. But here we go, spoilers for Saw in three, two, one. The entire time, the mastermind behind this plan, the real Jigsaw killer is lying dead on the floor with our main characters in that bathroom. The character was bloodied up and not moving, and we saw that they were just dead. They even inspect the body. Never even crossed my mind that this dead body could be a person. And when that Saw music, Hello Zep, starts to play at the end, and he gets up and takes the makeup off, I was like, no way. I just gave myself chills thinking about it. It is the one plot twist where I had no clue it was coming, and I was so stunned. On top of that, there's a few deflections to take away from this. There's some other plot twists before, but this is the big one from Saw, and I kid you not, it is the best twist I've ever seen in a movie without a doubt, and still leaves me stunned every time I think back on it. What a way to just misdirect the audience. There's a dead body in the middle of the bathroom. The whole movie Jigsaw is lying dead in front of our faces, but in reality, he is the mastermind behind everything. What a masterful twist that is. But yeah, that does it for my top 10 favorite movie plot twists of all time. Let me know yours in the comments down below and be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to that notification bell to help reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel. It means a lot. But thank you all again for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>